Hey everybody, we're gonna do this for the next week of Daily Dose. We're gonna take a break, hit the pause button on the I Am statements in the Gospel of John. We'll resume those after Easter Sunday, but this week is Holy Week. And so what I wanna do, I wanna have a collection of five just Daily Doses around Holy Week. And I wanna begin today with this question. What would your life look like without Jesus? I mean, after all, we're going to be celebrating the death of Jesus this week. He went to the cross for you and for me. And so I can't imagine, you know what, I can't even begin to fill in the blank to begin to give you in paragraph form what my life would look like without Jesus. But I can guarantee you it would be vastly different. I can tell you that my marriage, I'm not sure if Laura and I would have made it without Jesus. I'm not sure if if we would have had two beautiful daughters, not perfect, but they know and they love God. They have a, a center for moral uh, values. They can distinguish between what is right and wrong. They can succeed. Are they perfect? No. Do, do they make mistakes? Yes. Do they have limitations? Of course. They're kids. They're just like your kids. But, but, but here's the thing. Without Jesus, I'm not sure what my life would be like. And more so, without Jesus, I don't think I would be standing here. As we've been looking at in the study on Esther, our lives are not just a series of isolated events. My life is just not my life. My life was impacted by other people's lives, by my parents and my grandparents and my great-grandparents. There was a legacy. And for me and my life, everything changed when my babysitter, Evie Ringley, reached out to my mom and said, Pat, Pat, you need Jesus. Why don't you come with me to church? That moment saved my parents' marriage. That moment was the moment that my mom met Jesus. Not, not here, but here. That, that moment is where my dad came to faith through our local church. That moment was where my life began to change. I was four years old at that time. So what would your life look like? without Jesus? What would your kids' lives look without Jesus? What would your grandkids and your great-grandkids and your great-great-great-grandkids, what would their lives look like without Jesus? Now, there are no guarantees, obviously, but today you have a choice. This week we have a choice to stand in all of saying, Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you took my sin and my shame and you bore all of that on the cross for my life. Is life hard? You bet it is. Jesus didn't lie to us. This is what he said in John chapter 16, verse 33, the last half. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. Anybody have troubles? Yep, I have troubles. I know Jesus. He has changed my life. I can't imagine what my life would look like without him. But that doesn't mean that I don't have trouble. That doesn't mean that you don't face trouble. That doesn't mean that this year and last year was a hard year. There are troubles and they're going to be troubles. But here's the promise from what Jesus says. But take heart because I have overcome the world. So while this week is a holy week, this week is also a week where we, where we celebrate and we remember that Jesus overcame the greatest hardship and that's sin and death and the grave. We'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Dose.